Okay. This is another video I want to do right now. Um, basically, I'm just going to put some of this crap away now. Basically, I'm trying to make this video up to say how fed up I am with trolls and shit. See, I have not had a problem in a while. Um, I really haven't had a problem in a long time. Putting the shit away now to save time. Magazine round not chambered finger away. I have not had problems with trolls in a while, but some people have. Tom, uh, Pete yesterday, Pete from the Army Channel was saying that he had an issue with trolls fucking with his new website. He, Tom, and Jeff have the new website they want to put up. ArmoryExpress.com. ArmoryExpressOutlet.com to sell gun supplies and shit. Well, there are apparently a lot of trolls that are fucking with them. Guys that are giving them real nasty, negative bullshit like we don't like you. Nasty emails to Jeff from Cut Me Lover to Tom to Weapons Education and to Pete from the Army Channel. And I would like to tell you that I think that's bullshit. Okay? First and foremost, it is Christina Aguilera. The First Amendment gives you the right to free speech. I've read the Constitution from cover to cover. I've taken law classes. I've studied under detectives, attorneys, great minds. Greater than your fucking mind. The First Amendment does not give you the right to harass someone. So if you send Pete or Tom or Jeff or me or any or humans for not that troll, that, that idiot, that dumbass that was constantly bothering us a couple I haven't seen him in a while. I blocked like two of his accounts. That guy's like, guns killing us people. That 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 that, that asshole is always bothering us. He bothered me, he bothered him for targets, he bothered nothing fancy. Well, I just want you to tell you that harassment is not protected by the First Amendment. It is not. You think it is, but it's not. So when you send Pete, Tom, Jeff, me, or anybody else nasty comments about we suck or we're evil or you don't like us or you, you, you hate us, well, well, first, we don't like you either, but that's harassment. Now, Tom is the primary holder of the website. Tom and Jeff are partners, no, Pete and Jeff are partners with him, but Tom is the primary caregiver to the website. And Pete, from the, and Pete said that Tom is taking legal action against the trolls that are fucking with his business. He should. It is against the law for anyone to obstruct a legitimate business. So if you're making it difficult for an honest person to run a legitimate business, it doesn't matter if you don't agree with them. It's against the law. It doesn't matter that you don't like guns or knives or holsters. It matters that he's selling it legally and you're trying to fuck with his business. That is against the law. And if he can't, doesn't have enough evidence to get you criminally, he can get you civilly. He can pick up the phone, call a lawyer, and sue your ass. And he should sue your ass. He should sue you, and he should distribute the money to all of his subscribers, and we should all go out and buy guns and ammunition with the money we got out of suing you. You do not have the right to bother anyone. And if you have a, if there are gun owners, that, gun dealers that are listening to me, has anyone ever obstructed your store? You have a gun shop, has anyone ever bothered your customers, harassed you, harassed your customers? You can have them arrested for harassment. And you can sue them financially for obstructing your right to have a business. And I encourage you to do that. You don't want to punch them in the face, even though you want to, because that puts the law in their hands. But you want to sue them for damages and you want to press charges against them for harassment and have them arrested. Tom Selleck. I never heard anything bad about Tom Selleck at all. My fellow NRA member. Tom Selleck, 12 years ago, went on the, break, uh, on the Rosie O'Donnell show. And there's a video on YouTube I saw recently. And he, she really attacked him about this gun crime in America, you own guns. The Second Amendment is obsolete because they wanted us to have muzzle-loading rifles when the British come back in 1812. Well, 
she was pretty much making him uncomfortable. And I would have got him walked to the stage. I wouldn't have said, I would have just got him walked away. Now, Rosie O'Donnell forgot that at the time she was working for Kmart. Kmart sells more guns than the Soviet Union. So Rosie O'Donnell was working for Kmart and beating up a guy because he's an NRA member. Hypocrisy. Do you vote? Not gun owners, but the guys that are harassing Tom, Pete, and Jeff, and me, and those other fucking guys. Do you vote? Here's the deal. All the guys you vote for that pledge they'll, they'll spend every minute of their time of their every minute of their time opposing gun ownership. 90% of them own guns, and 100% of them are protected by bodyguards 24 hours a day. So you're against gun ownership, voting for anti-gun politicians who own guns themselves and have bodyguards. You're a hypocrite. You are. You're a, you're a hypocrite. But I just want to tell you that you're full of shit. I haven't had a problem in a while, but Tom, Jeff, and Pete, uh, Pete said he was having problems with trolling and shit, and I think it's bullshit. Okay? If you don't like somebody, leave them the fuck alone. Okay? If you don't agree with this, agree with that, look, I don't like the ballet. It bores me. And if you wanted me to go with you to the ballet, you had to pay me a lot of money. But, if someone wanted to put a ballet hall in my hometown, I wouldn't give a shit. It's money. They make money. Capitalism. Guys pay money to see the ballet. Money in the economy. I'm not interested in it, but I'm not going to bother them. Do you know my home state legalized gay marriage? Yeah. And when they legalized gay marriage, there was a News 12, local news, was down in a, a gay club. And the spokesperson for the gay club was a guy who went to high school with. Do you know what I said about gay marriage? Nothing. Because it doesn't affect me. They want to get married. It's irrelevant what I think about it. It doesn't affect me. Okay? You don't want to own a gun. Don't own a gun. I don't give a shit. Me owning a gun doesn't affect you. At all. Me owning this gun or this gun or this knife or this magazine or this magazine, 13 rounders, does not affect you. Mind your own damn business. Mind your business. Leave us alone. We don't care about you. I don't care about you. Seriously. When they legalize gay marriage in New York, I say, you know what? I'm, I'm worried about the economy. I'm worried about gun rights. I'm worried about job growth. I'm worried about health care. I'm worried about the recession. Two gay guys want to get married is the last thing on my mind. I don't care about it at all. It's not my business. They don't come into my house and tell me about guns. My gay friend, I met him at the reunion. Okay, I went to my class reunion in November. And my gay friend, he didn't criticize me for being a gun owner. And he knew I was a gun owner. My gay friend from high school did not criticize me about being a gun owner. So I didn't criticize him about being gay. He didn't join an organization to oppose me. So when his people wanted to get married, leave him alone. Do you know how many wars get started because assholes can't mind their own business? A lot. So, leave us alone. Mind your own business. You will be blocked. Your comments will be deleted. And if you're fucking around with Tom, Pete, or Jeff, or anyone of our ability to make money, legal action will be taken. Okay, legal action will be taken against you. Live and let live, okay? You don't like gun ownership, here's the deal. I want you to go to England, and I want you to tell a guy in England you'll trade houses. You'll take his house in England, he'll take your trailer or garbage can or box in America. Fair? I think it is. Or maybe Libya would suit you better. Libya is anti-gun. Citizens can't own guns in Libya. Prior to 2003, citizens couldn't own guns in Iraq. In Nazi Germany, the citizens couldn't own guns either. 
Leave us alone. We don't like you. We don't bother you. Don't bother us. Tom, Jeff, and Pete, I hope the store goes online very soon. I will visit you. I will buy things. And just despite every single solitary thing I give Tom money for, it's coming in front of this camera. I don't care if I buy a knife, a holster, can of bowel skull, toilet paper, or a paper brown bag full of horse shit. Every single thing that I give Tom, Jeff, and Pete money for, you're going to see right in front of this camera. Guaranteed.